In this video, I'm going to show you how to run the triangular read concept, also known as the stick concept out of the bunch tight information of Madden 23. If you're watching this and you want to take your bunch tight end offense to the next level, make sure that you join our Patreon. That's where you'll be able to get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks, including our bunch tight end. And you can get the entire Patreon membership for just $10. The link is in the description if you want to check it out. So what is the purpose of the stick concept? Well, I'm glad that you asked. We're gonna come over here to concepts and we're gonna take a look here at this uh, stick concept. If you take a look here, here's a little description. The innermost receiver runs the stick route and the next receiver runs some type of flat or quick out. And if you also look at it, it's a three man triangle where you have a vertical, a flat, and a hitch. Now you can kind of dice this concept up in a lot of different ways. We're gonna show you how to do it today out of the play spacing in the bunch tight end formation. But I wanna just take a uh, just a quick second here and il illustrate this concept. So if I go to trips tight end, it's a little bit easier to see it. Um, you're gonna see here that if I do a hitch, a flat, and a fade, some type of vertical, you're gonna notice this is gonna create a pretty significant triangle on the left side of the field. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna jump into instant replay and I'm gonna explain kind of how this triangle works and then we're gonna teach you how to do it out of bunch tied in. So as you see right here, this is the triangle. So this right here is the bottom left-hand corner of the triangle. This is the top of the triangle here and then this is the bottom inside corner. So three kind of points of the triangle as you can see and um, that's, that's, that's basically what the concept is. Now you can get to the triangle a lot more than just that way. And that's uh, what we're gonna show you with this specific setup. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this play spacing, um, but we're gonna do it really with one little caveat. Instead of taking, uh, um, instead of taking Christian Kirk and running him on a streak route, we're going to put him on a post route. Now, the slot apprentice post is still going to pull the zones vertically like we want it to. It's And you could also put him on a corner route, by the way. Okay. Um, it's still going to pull the zones like we want it to. But now what it's going to do is this is going to give us a little bit better of a way to attack man-to-man -man coverage. Um, now, the, the, the rest of this play is designed to attack zone coverage. So what I like to do uh, is with the tight end, there's a couple different things that you can do. Uh, but honestly, option routes to the running back are a great way to attack man and zone coverages over the middle. And again, you can do that. Um, but really what I'm going to recommend is to take your tight end and put him on an out route. And then to take your running back and we're just gonna put him on either a block and release hook route or a ghost route, just like this right here. Super, super solid because this is going to allow us to attack kind of this double flat zone defense um, that we're kind of forcing people into playing. Now uh, with Tyree Kill, another little pro tip is you can motion him out and snap it while he's moving if you wanted to. Um, you could take Christian Kirk and because in, in Peabody over he's on, you could do it like this if you wanted to. If you have Slot Apprentice on Tyree Kill um, or if you have Hot Route Master, you can do it kind of however you want to. Uh, you know, but again, this is the concept that we want to teach. So against man coverage, really your post is the main route on the play. Now let's say you're watching this and you're like, I don't have that, I don't have that ability. Okay, uh, what we're gonna do instead, if we don't have the ability to put the posts out there, all you have to do is we're just gonna put a slant to Christian Kirk and then what we can do with our tight end here is we can leave this tight end on this route, this out route, uh, or we can leave him on that little hitch route and then what I like to do, honestly, is, is actually run the running back on a streak and motion him to the flat. Uh, but if we if we don't want to do that, which I for a lot of reasons you might not want to do that, uh, go ahead and put the running back, just block him. Go ahead and just block him, okay? Uh, this will give us pretty good protection, and now your slant will be able to beat man coverage across the middle of the field. It's the main reason why uh, we're running this play anyway, okay? So... Um, 
Now, let's talk about this route to CD Lamb. This route to CD Lamb is actually really good, especially if you have short in a lead on him. What you're gonna notice is he's gonna curl up, and if they're not shading their coverage down, you can throw the ball to CD Lamb. Um, he may not always catch it, especially if they have KOs, but a lot of times he will. And um, you can freeform the pass down into the inside, like right there, and he'll catch it. Um, so that's kind of a nice little piece to this play that can also help you beat man. Now, you don't really want to call stick uh, for the primary purpose of beating man. Really, the main reason we would call this is if we think we're getting any kind of zone pressure or if our opponent has been starting to double flat to try to defend concepts like this. You'll notice here with the double flat, this is the best strategy to trying to take away these deep corners and deep crossing routes. Now, bunch tight in affords us kind of some unique opportunities in the fact that it's really difficult to defend some of these concepts because of how deep the routes actually get. But let's just say, you know, they're able to back these corners off and they're able to defend our core concepts. Now, what you're going to notice is this flat is going to be wide open in the middle of the field and that's actually a really hard thing for the user to defend and that's where like you can have a secondary setup if you want and it can look like this right here um, again I'm gonna illustrate this whole idea of a triangle and the best way I think to showcase this is we're gonna assume that the user is actually gonna take away your your hitch so the user is gonna run to the hitch at the snap of the ball and if you watch how this play kind of works out, you're going to notice here that now what I can do is I can throw my post in that little pocket right there. Now, the main reason I can throw that post is because I did put the tight end on a clear out streak. Um, but you don't have to have that. It's just, I think, something that you should uh, consider. But anyway, right here, right at this point, we have a triangle. Okay. Right at this point, we have a triangle. Okay. Right here. Okay. So we have these two guys are connecting, this guy's connecting, it's a little bit more of an obtuse triangle, but that that's still the triangular read. And now what you see is when we get that, now we have kind of a bigger triangle, triangular feel. We have this flat, look at how much the space is out the field, really well. And if the user decides I'm gonna go guard the hitch, what can we do in the middle of the field? Well, now this guy's standing wide open, coming over the middle of the field. And again, if you want to, you don't have to necessarily put your tight end on that route. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So let's say that we let's say that we play run the play like we originally showcased it like this. And they do the same uh, the same basic defense where they're trying to they're trying to take away your hitch and they kind of leave the middle of the field. What you notice what you'll notice here is when they do that, you can still throw this. You just have to throw it before he gets to the safety. So still a really, really, really valuable concept and something that you can use uh, to beat really any coverage, any pressure. One of the most versatile quick passing concepts in Madden. And I think that this in some way, shape or form should be in your offense. You can run it different ways. Again, if I wanted to, we could put the corner out there and run it like this. This is still technically a triangular read uh, on this field. Okay, we could do it just like that, and then we could, you know, do something else on the backside if we wanted to. But the the, the way I showed you how to do it out of bunch tight end is my preferred way to do it, specifically in any kind of formation like bunch tight end where you have three wide receivers to the left. It makes it so hard because you're anticipating that the, the user is already going to funnel these zones to the sideline because we've been running plays like sale, we've been running plays like cross, we've been running plays like um, uh, what's ever called shallow those all attack the sidelines in some way, shape, or form. This is a play that really attacks the short, quick, intermediate, and middle of the field. So make sure to add this into your offense. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire Bunch Tight End offensive ebook, make sure to join the Patreon. The link is in the description. And I guarantee you that it's going to help you take your Madden game to the next level.